Good morning, dear servant. Thank you very much for the warm welcome. Again, today we are learning uh, decimal fraction and percentage. Um, the learning objective is to write decimal and fraction as percentage. So first of all, can you all write down the learning objective and write down the lesson today is daily the 4th of April 2020. Right, we're going to start with um, understanding what's fraction, what's decimal, and what's percentage. Um, we're going to start with, we can write numbers, number line to show you what each one basically means. And we can represent each one to the other one. So for example, if I write down a straight line, and I write down another one, and then one more, so those numbers, we can represent them. So if I take here one, two, three, four, five, and then we do here same thing. Okay, those lines are all the same, right? So if we represent them with numbers, how will they be compared? So the first line, the first line, if we do, say, uh, we start here from zero. Is that the number or the figure? Yes? Is it showing? No. Can you see yes, that? Yes, it is, yes. Yes. If we, if we write down zero here, and we write down here 200, right? And then I write here 400. What do I do here now? Yes? 300. Okay, so 200, 400. Each time we are going to 200, right? So this will be 600. So it will be 800 here. So here it will be 1,000, sir? Right. Okay. Now, if we write on the next one, here we have zero. Okay? And then we have 1 out of 5, this is a fraction, this is 2 out of 5, 2 out of 5, and then we have 3 out of 5, here we have 4 out of 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 5 here. Okay? As a decimal, we could say maybe 0 0.1. Okay, 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5. Okay? And then the last one we can represent as a percent. So if I write that here, Zero, and we stay here ten percent. Here we say twenty percent. Here we say thirty percent. And here we say forty percent. Here we have fifty percent. Okay, all those which align with each other are equivalent. Okay, they are equivalent. Okay, so let's try the first part of the lesson. How do we how do we write decimal as a percentage? So this is really important. I want you to write down. This is our first learning objective. How to write how to write decimal as a percentage. How to write decimal as percent. How do we write the small as a percent? This is really, really one of the things that we have to learn today. By the end of the lesson, I want everybody to know how to change uh, uh, decimal into percentage. So let's use that example. So can you write or can you change 
0.2 as a percentage. 0.2 as a percentage. There is two methods. There's two, there are two ways we can change decimals into percentage. The first one, and the easy one, is we just multiply by 100. Okay? So just multiply, this is the first method. If we multiply this by 100, that will give us, remember any number we multiply by 100, we move the decimal twice. How many times? Twice. twice. So this will be 1, 2, so this will give us 20 percent. Are you with me girls? So our decimal was here, and then it goes 1, 2. Yeah, it's 20 back then. 0 0.2 means 20 back then. Okay? That's the first method. The second method is we can change this into fraction. <coughs> Remember when we are changing fraction into decimal, we count how many decimal is there. If there's one decimal, that's divided by 10. If it's two decimal, it's divided by 100. Yes. Yes. Times. If you times this by 100, huh? 0.2 times 100. Oh, 0.2? Yeah. Where is 0? Here, 0 0.2. Can I see? Get closer oh. somewhere. Right. So now, this is the second method I'm explaining. If we have 0 0.2 and we change that into a fraction, this becomes like 2 over 10. Remember? Why 10? Because it's one decimal. If it was two decimal, it would be 100. Now, remember, this is now over 10. But I want to make it over 100. So how do I change the 10 into 100? I have to times it by? How do I change 10 into 100? Times it by 10, well done. So if I times here by 10, Remember the fraction rule is whatever I do on the denominator, I have to do it on the numerator. So that, that means now I have to multiply here by 10. And that will give me, what is 20, uh, 2 times 10? It's 20, right? And here we have the 100 we want it. So 20 divided by 100 is the same as 20 by 10, which gives us the same answer. Are you guys with me? So what we did, we change our decimal into what? Into percentage. Right, can you all do, remember that? So if I give you another number, can you all do it for me? Yes. Yes, can you now, if I give you, say, say 0 0.8, can everybody change that into a percent for me? You can either use this method or this method. Go for it. Let's see who comes over with that first. Yes, what? Zero point? Zero point eight. I want you to change it into percent. It will become eighty percent. Well done. Why? Because we can either just multiply by one hundred, which will give us eighty. And remember, because we multiply by one hundred, that will be just within eighty percent. That's the first method. Or the second method, we can just say uh, 0 0.8 will be same as 8 over 10. Okay? And then 8 over 10 means we multiply here by 10. We multiply here by 10. That will give us 80 over 10. Or sorry, over 100. And then which is the same as 80%. Right, great. So I hope everybody can change any uh, decimal number into backhand by using these two methods. Are we all happy with that? Yes. Good. The next step now, uh, you have any question? Yes. Can yes. I, can you read the last one? The last one. So 80, 0 0.8, you have to divide by 10. 10 being because it's one decimal. Now that means if we have one decimal, we have 8 out of 10. So we don't want 10, we want 100. So we have, I have to times the 10 by 10 to make it this 100. 
So if I times here 10, I have to also times here 10. So Nadif give me 80 over 108, which is, as I explained yesterday, 80 over 100 means 80 back step. And we just did that. Okay? So that's our first step. Second, uh, so the second step, the second step will be writing fraction after back step thing. So let's try another. How to? Okay, so this is number two. How to write? How to write fraction as a percent? As a percent. Okay, so now we are doing, we're dealing with fraction. So our first fraction is going to be four fifth. So example one, write, write four fifth as a percent. Right. So we need to change this to percent. You look it this way? Yes. Good. So how do we change this? There's two steps. I want you to listen to this very carefully. We have a fraction. We need to change it into percentage. The first thing we need to do is we need to change it into decimal. How do we change it into decimal? We divide the numerator to the denominator. Okay? We, we, we divide the numerator into the denominator. So how do we do that? What's the numerator? Four. four. So four goes into denominator, which is five. We just divide these two numbers. How do we divide that? Oh, look this way, please. How do we define that? How many fives goes into four? One. one. Zero. Huh? There's no enough. Oh, there's no number. Yes. So then I have to put zero here. But the reason is when I put zero here, I have to put a decimal there. Right? And how much five can you How many fives goes into 40? Eight. So I put eight, eight here. Right. So now we have 0 0.8. But I don't want decimal. I want percent. So how do I change this a little bit then? You times by 100, thank you. So if I times here by 100, that will give me 80%. So I now have 4 fifths is the same as 80%. Are you with me guys? Yes. Great. So now you can change um, fraction into percent. I have just shown you how to change fraction into percent. So that's the second step. The third step is, okay, so we've done, now we, done, we can do two things. We can change uh, decimal into percent, or we can change fraction into percent. Now the three, the third thing we're going to learn today is, how do we order fraction? How do we order fraction? Right. Uh, move to this side. Right, how do we, um, so write down this place. Write in, okay, ordering rational numbers. Ordering, ordering rational numbers. Now this question is, how do we order numbering? How do we order it basically means, how do we put a small one at the beginning? Second small one, biggest one to the end. That's what ordering means. From small to the biggest. So then we give us the numbers which are all mixed. Fractions, decimals, percentages, and then they will ask you to order it. And how do you order it? You cannot order the numbers if some of them are fractions, if some of them are decimals, if some of them are percentage, you cannot order them. What do you have to do? Change all of them into the same thing. Like for example, change all of them into decimals. When they are all into decimals, then you can order them because you can easily see which one is the biggest number. Okay? So this is the first example. Can you write down? Order those. Order those 
fractions. So let's have a look. What are the numbers? Order one out of four, one and four fifth. That's one. And then we have zero point three three recurring. If I put that little line on the top, that means recurring. Recurring means this three three will go on and on. So if you know right three, 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 all the way to the end, I will just shorten it to three, three, little dash on top. That means recurring. If we can carry on. So that's the second one. They all different. And then we have the next one. Uh, minus 1.6. Minus 1.6. That's our other one. And then we have 70.2. 70.2 Okay, so that's a decimal number Percent, it is percent Okay, so some of them are percentage <coughs> Some are decimal So we need to order these From the least to the greatest From the least To greatest Okay, so how do we do this? Where do we start? Okay, to start with, you cannot order them. You cannot see the numbers, which one is bigger, which one is smaller, if they are all different forms. Some of them are fractions, some of them are mixed fractions, some of them are percentage, and some of them are decimal. So we change all of them into the same thing. I think the easiest one is to change everything into decimal. Because one of them is two decimal, let's change everything into two decimal. So we start with one four fifth. Four fifth we already changed it. Did we change four fifth? Yes, four fifth as a uh, decimal is zero point eight. You with me, girls? Yeah. So we have one, and zero point eight will give us one point eight. You happy with it? Yeah. So this will be same as this one. So we change that. The second one is already a decimal. So this will be 0 0.33. These two we can keep all of them are decimal. Okay? The only thing we need to do is make two decimal for this one. So we are allowed to add one zero. Because that zero will not add any value. It will just add two decimal for us. Next one. This is also a decimal already, so we have zero point, sorry, a minus one point six zero. So we have those two numbers already decimal. The last one is a percent. How do we change percent into decimal? How do we change? Sorry, but it's supposed to be an R, not a one point eight. It's supposed to be a one point eight. This one? Yes. One point eight. Yes, no. Here, look, 4 over 5 is 0 0.8. Okay. So we have 0 0.8 and 1. When you add it together, it becomes 0 0.1.8. So that's where we get that. Why do we add the 0? The 0, because we want everything to have two decimal. So if you add one zero, it doesn't change the value. 1.8 is the same as 1.80. So we are allowed to add just one zero. Here is already two decimal. Here we add another zero. Okay? This one is percent. How do we change percent into decimal? <coughs> we divide by 100. So, if we have 70.2 over 100, that means we move the decimal twice. So this becomes now 0 0.702. Are you with me, girls? Because all we did is we move the decimal here. So the last one becomes um, 0 0.702. Now we can see which one is the smallest, which one is the biggest. Who can give me the biggest number? Or let's not forget there was three here as well, right? There was a three, yeah? Okay. So we had number three here. So obviously the, 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 the smallest number will be which? 
So the smallest one will be 0 0.16, right? But this will be the smallest. What we are ordering, we have to put. We have to put in order minus 0 0.6. 0, okay? That's the first one. Which one is the second smallest one? Come on, girls, you need to help me with this. 0 0.3. 3, 3, this is the second smallest one. So, 0 0.33. Okay, that's the second smallest one. The next smallest one, so we done this. Okay, we done this. The second smallest one will be 0 0.7. Okay? So, 0 0.7. 702. That's the second smallest one. And then the, the biggest one or the big the largest number that we have will be uh, 1.8. 1 1.80. Okay? And we have three there, so we can put three there as well. Okay? So we just put the numbers in order. Does that make sense? Good. So we're gonna stop there and then we're gonna do some class work. Before we start, can you just write down some, some of those questions? Okay, I'm gonna write down some questions for you. Right, uh, can you do those questions for me please? Let's start with this one. Okay, write, write each decimal as a percentage, okay? Right. So we're going to do this exercise. Right. Each decimal as percent. Okay. So the first one we have. Is 0 0.6 number one 0 0.6 and then number two we have 0 0.32 and number three yes I want you to start 0 0.5 thank you well done 544 and then number four, 0 0.06. And then number five, I want you to do 0 0.087. Right, so that's the first one. Second one, we are going to write now. I'm going to put a little line here. So now you need to write each fraction as a percent. Okay? Write each fraction as percent. So the first one we have is one quarter. So this is number six, one out of four, okay? And then eight, sorry, three out of 25. Three out of 25. And then we have 11 out of 20. 11 out of 20. And then we have seven out of 40. Seven out of 40. And then we have last, Five out of eight. Five out of eight. Okay. So the uh, the next part. Okay. So up to here. So here we have ordered this now. Order the number from the least to the greatest. Order those numbers. Order. 
those numbers. How do we order them? I have just given you an example. So the first one is uh, this is question number seven. 0 0.5 recurring and 50 by 10 50 by 10 and 11 over 20 you need to order them first of all change all of them either into decimal or fraction and then you can order them question number 8 will go Uh, 0 0.02 over 0 0.23 Okay, and then Minus 0 0.7 Minus 0 0.7 And then 70 per ten. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna go do this, and uh, we will break this hopefully by the time you finish it. Is there any question? No. Right. So before we close, can you all say, share, share subscribe, share. and comment? Share, share subscribe, and comment. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.